Hello YouTube. I'm here with my second layout update. As you can see, a lot of things changed, I guess you can say. Um, I changed my track to Bachman Easy Track just right now, and then I'm going to get some Code 83 Flex Track. But this is just for right now. The other track, there's always, like, the train would always stop in, one sp in certain spots. So I just changed it to my one of my first tracks that I've had. And, yeah. I mean, over here I have my little um, lumber mill, I guess you can say. Um, I have, I mean, I showed you in my first layout update. The only thing I changed is I added this building right there. Just a little hotel right here. Just a little, or motel, you can say. Um, and then those two buildings right there. And then, oh yeah, and then this house that I just got recently. It's just a little house. Oh, um, when I went down to San Diego to read Hobby Shop, as you, as you, as you've seen, um, in my one of my videos I just had of the Silent Pacific, that's that was at Reed's Hobby Shop. Well, I got these two Athern Blue Box kits right here. This is for the Model Railroad Museum in San Diego Model Railroad Museum in Balboa Park. You guys should go check that out. It's really neat. Or you can look it up on YouTube. Also, over here I have a BNSF Center Flow Hopper right here. So yeah, this is basically what I have. And over here I just have supplies, as you can see, hairspray, glue, all that good stuff. Just some cars right here. This is where I keep all my stuff. A background I made that's pretty crappy. Church, some bit more buildings. And right here I have my Burlington Northern. Um, my MKT SD40-2 um, I, I think it's a GP40 Santa Fe Amtrak Rock Island right here just a switcher I guess no not really a switcher but yeah and then this is just a Union Pacific shell because the motor burns out, so I just took it off and it can switch right with this one right here. It's the same sh type of shell, but just Union Pacific, as you can see. So, yeah.